Unified High School students uh, some eight or nine months ago, and, and you talked to them about ways that your office is, is streamlining and changing a little bit in the shift in the duties of your office. And I'll just ask you to take a minute or two, if you will, and, and bring an update to, to these folks about those, those things that are happening. Yeah, one, one of the things that we really tried to you know, do our best to help deal with, uh, as these guys know, very tough, and, and you all too, very tough budget environments. A little less than 30 percent and we've lost about 40 percent of our people dealing with budget cuts and just trying to find other efficiencies and i'm not being critical of that that's just where we are and we've had to figure out ways to do our same job and even some additional work with less money and less people and, and a lot of people in state government have had to do that so one of the main things is through technology you know right now we're implementing a new statewide voter registration system you may have heard you know, some pains and grumblings in your local communities about that as we're having the municipal elections this year, but that's something that, you know, we have the state's old 20-year mainframe computer system that we're on. We're moving to a web, new web-based platform. We believe, uh, I know you don't hear this much from people in state government, but we believe it's going to save the county government some money once we get it implemented and we're using it because it's, it was very expensive pulling data off of the state's old mainframe system for us and for the for the counties and city when, when you were going through re redistricting order list and that kind of kind of thing so you know that's one instance of that also in our licensing division we're trying to figure out ways to do more and more online we had a, a little setback when the immigration bill passed three years ago that took a streamlined process and really made it uh, bureaucratic but thanks to these guys last year we fixed that we only have to do that process one time and once we've done that, we can move back to our, our old online system. We're almost cycled through that. Uh, but we're also looking at, uh, they helped us pass a bill last year to combine two of our licensing boards that everybody was in agreement in. Uh, and that, that's a little small thing, but it's going to help us out, you know, a little bit. If we can do more of that, it'll help us out more. Or we have less board meetings, we can redesign that in staff's uh, time where they're working on other issues. And same thing in our corporations division. You know, we moved to a new system last year for any of you that are business owners and had to file with us the first part of the year. It was a very rocky transition, so I apologize for that. But we were in a we were in a situation where our old <coughs> system was crashing. Our vendor was saying, look, this thing's going down. One day it's never gonna come back up and all that data's gonna be locked up. So we had to figure out a way to move without asking for, for any new money. You know, that's just the environment we're in and we've done that. We had a a really a rough transition but we've been working ever since the renewal period to get those issues fixed and be prepared for this January and uh, we're, we're looking literally in every part of our agency to see any little efficiencies you know that we can we can get I mean some of the things that we're dealing with the state government their their money budget issue driven I mean, there's some areas where we need more people uh, but every agency is telling these guys that, and that's, that's their job is to figure out, you know, what the priorities are. And then as a former legislator, I certainly am sympathetic and understand that. And, you know, we'll make our cases for what we need, and, you know, whatever they decide, we'll end up dealing with it the best way that we can and, and try to be part of the team. One other thing I wanted to mention, too, we're working on a new outreach program. Uh, for any of you that went to the fair in Perry or, or the expo in Moultrie, uh, we've got a person that we're sending on the road now to do a better job of reaching out to the people that we're serving in the, in the other communities around the state rather than just, you know, making people come to Tifton, Macon, or Atlanta to get help in person. Um, so we, we can, you know, people can get voter registration forms. They can get help, if, you know, or, or answers to what, how, what do you have to do to start a new corporation or renew your corporation or they have questions on professional licensing or, any of those issues that we deal with in the office, um, we're starting to go around to you know chamber expos and other things that are going on in local communities. So if you guys have those, let us know about that, uh, and we'll be glad to try to come and set up and just you know bring our shop for a day or half a day to your community where where your constituents that, that are mine as well um, will have access to the services in the Secretary of State's office and just hopefully do a better job of, of customer service. And, does that person have a plywood box with the doctor is in? Oh, yeah, <laughs>